Hello friends. Hi, how are we today? I hope we are all doing well. I am doing fantastic. It is whoo, a lot later than this video. It is uh, currently the end of March, um, but I am, am filming January the 16th through the 22nd. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a little bit of a, a mess because I... Um, I did this, I talked through the entire one. I thought this was going to be a talk through. And when I was listening back, it was so unhinged and so disjointed and just so not what I wanted to present. Like, just let you guys know who I was and what was going on. Um, I was like, okay, well, I think I need to take a break and regroup and do a voiceover for this in the morning. I had wanted to get this up on March um, the 22nd. It is currently March 23rd, and this is the day that it'll go up. So that's good, at least. I am using a kit from Planner, Planner Penguin. Um, I've never used this kit before. I'm really excited to have been able to use it. And do a really, really nice, what I would consider transitional kit. Um, oh, this isn't a transitional kit, but this is for January. And it's sort of like snow and winter berries and chickadees, and my chickadees come to the nest. Um, or to my feeder rather, all year round. I have one, his name is Eduardo. He's the first bird that I ever got. I love him to death. I don't actually know how long um, chickadees live. So uh, it could be like the second or third iteration of Eduardo, but there you go. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking here. I thought I was going to try and do one side and then do the other, but I don't plan like that. So I don't know why I thought that. Uh, I just found out that the pages in my planner uh, are actually cut. So this one um, is printed a little bit lower than the other page. So the bottom lines don't line up. So I am going to have to put the bottom washi a little bit over the bottom lines uh, in this planner. I'm not thrilled about it, but you know what? It's not that big of a deal. We can absolutely make it work in our lives. Um, and it seems like I'm going over a lot of the planner, but really I'm like a millimeter from the bottom. Um, I don't love all the space at the top. That's not my jam. That's not how I plan. So I get that that's very on brand with how people are planning, particularly when they buy from Sadie stickers or like Saucy Sticker Co or The Giving Girl. That's like very in right now. Uh, and I don't have anything against that. It's just not my particular style. Anyway, I've never planned with a Planner Penguin kit before. So um, I thought this was going to take me a lot longer. And I will say, um, setting down the base did take me quite some time. There was a lot of umming and eyeing, and we did have some issues with the cat. Um, I don't know what he saw outside last night, but he took a flying leap, probably about six and a half feet in the air from the floor to the window above my desk. And I was like utterly shocked because he made it and there was something outside and he was losing his mind. So I had to pause several times and deal with that. But I figured because I have so much space up there, and this is a really cute weekend banner. Like, I'm not usually a weekend banner person, but I thought I'd put it over the weekend. It was really cute. I really enjoyed that. Next up, I was looking at the glitter headers, and I was like, oh, am I going to go across with all three? Because that last one, it looks a little bit brown on camera, but it's actually just silver. Um, and then I realized what I wanted to do was the dark blue over all of the boxes because it would contrast really nicely and then the lighter blue just underneath the date covers um, and I decided this week to go just straight across with my boxes I didn't really have anything <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry I didn't really have anything like urgent or big to plan uh, only one day I needed a date extender I wasn't expecting to have needed the date extender but it was it ended up being busy a couple of days this week but not crazy because you'll see some of the days this week I had to use a lot of deco to fill in the extra space either because I just got too lazy and I didn't fill out my notebook or because it was just a crazy week and I didn't really want to note it down. So I'm just fixing the header here to make sure that was online with all of the other headers and then I went in and did the headers straight across and then I will do that on the other side as well. I think that middle one is a bit crooked. Um, I will say, um, the, I'm, I've never used Planner Penguin before. She's new to me. Uh, and I was so pleasantly surprised. Her stickers peeled up from this paper like butter. It was so nice. It was so easy. Um, and it just, it made planning this whole entire planning sesh, like just 
a lot easier knowing that I had the flexibility to move the stickers if I needed it. And I really like the layout of these full boxes. The other one was also a cabin scene. And shockingly, um, because I don't really do this, you guys know, um, I try and use my sidebar functionally, obviously this far out. It's not a functional sidebar. Um, but I ended up using the other box um, in my sidebar. And you'll get to that in one second after I finish doing my headers. You would think it going just under two times the speed that this would be a lot quicker, but evidently not. Um, I think this was a cat situation. Yeah, that was one of the cat situations. Um, and yeah, I don't really like want to talk to you guys too much about like things that happen during this week. Um, because obviously that's in my day by day, but I will say this is the week that kicked off a lot of weeks of sickness. And I'm talking like we are the end of March. It is March 23rd and we are finally just coming out of it. We are finally just coming out of it um and you know mental health as well as physical health and that's important because both of those things are health for your body in general so uh, I put down the two habit trackers here um and then I was trying to figure out how I was going to do my sidebar again I didn't really need a whole bunch of space so when I was muddling around, I was like, hmm, maybe I should just use the full box. And then I did. And that was a great decision. And I promise you I'll get into frame soon. Uh, you can hear my little guy just like snuffling around. And I was really excited because I only had three more boxes on the bottom of that sheet. And then this one, I'll save the numbers. I'll save the headers. And then the rest of the sheet can be thrown too, which means I only have two pages of leftovers, which makes me really, really, really happy. Um, so that first sticker is a leftover sticker. I have a lot of leftover drink stickers because they're on a lot of freebies. So I was like, okay, that's perfect. I'll just use that to mark um, Tim's. Uh, my husband and I went to Tim's um, actually after daycare drop off. So I don't know why I didn't do daycare drop off first. And then I was just like muddling through trying to find a sticker that would fit this. I didn't feel like daycare drop off needed that big of a sticker, but I also didn't feel like it needed a third a third box sticker so I ended up using a paint swatch and that fit perfectly and then I just used a coffee monsters co next to it to mark daycare drop off and that script is from sweetie sticker co hello hello sir uh and then next I used a script from the kit that said groceries and a little icon from the kit that says groceries so I used the script from the kit which I think is beautiful and an icon from the kit to mark uh, groceries and then next up my spacing was a little bit off but I noted that my husband and I got to spend uh, a little time together the baby actually napped in his bassinet that day um, so it was just nice to spend you know alone time with my hubs and chat with him not about the kids not about the house that's really lovely uh, next up I have to return my equipment to the office I didn't really know what to mark that with uh, so I went ahead and took a laptop from Dash of Sun Designs um, and after that I think is this is this where how, is this where I used an extender it can't be I uh, had a happy mail um, from, oh, I got my Kleena Energel 0.4. Actually, I do have to post my pen review, so maybe I'll post that um, this weekend. Um, but yeah, this is where I had to end up pulling in the um, extender sticker because Monday is always one of my busier days of the week just because my husband is finally off work. We get to do errands and chores together uh, and things always end up happening. And then, you know, my popcorn was on my desk and I was just feeling all out of sorts and discombobulated at this point. Um, but I will say the quarter boxes, the third boxes worked really, really well with the Prairie Planner uh, day extenders. So I think this turned out quite nicely. So I just put, um, I struggle with this. This is like not my forte, as you can tell. A lot of people do this every week. I do not. I don't have that much going on in my life. Uh, and I just think that it's really weird um, that like this day I have so much going on that I need an extender. But the next day I only had four things and I had to like make space up in my book. 
um, like fill in space rather. So that was interesting. I noted that I filmed and that was when I was a diligent little young lady. So that was my February 2023 kit lineup. Then I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji again to note that my husband and I watched Oak Island together. We don't really have many shows together. So I like to, to mark when we can watch something together. Um, and then um, I used, and I haven't hauled these yet, but I did use a Coffee Monsters Co a uh, new sticker that I got to mark that I went to bed very, very, very early that night. I was very, very tired. Uh, so the next day was the Tuesday. I added one of those boxes in from the sheet again. I was very excited. I was going to use them all up. Uh, and so on Tuesday, we had a quote for our windows done at 10 a.m., um, so I just used an exclamation mark to mark that. Then I noted that I had a shower. It was long, luxurious. My husband took the baby, like huge, amazing for me. And then after that, uh, I wanted to note that I finished filming my kit lineup and I was just trying to find another sticker for it because I wanted to take up a little bit more space there. And so I used one of these beige pinky stickers. Um, so that red sticker is also from the Coffee Monsters Co. I pulled them in a lot this week. Um, next up for the rest of the day, I was like, how do I fill in space here? So I noted that I called um, a roofing company to get a, a quote on our eaves troughs because uh, we need our eaves troughs done, especially now that we're headed into the rainy season. Um, it looks, it's raining right now and it does look like there's a waterfall coming down past my window uh, because the eaves trough isn't draining correctly. Then on Wednesday, uh, I used a, you know, just construction, uh, icon from sweet tea sticker co to note that my air ducts got cleaned you know those guys who come in and they're like air duct cleaning and they call you and you think it's spam i actually sought them out and i got my air ducts cleaned and it made such a quality to everyone's breathing in this house it was good uh i noted that my kiddo got sent home from daycare and it was so bad that i took him to urgent care and that is when we learned that he had an ear infection um so this is the start of when my week starts to go off the rails i guess i forgot to plan the rest of Wednesday uh it was a very busy day um so I was like oh I'll just do it later and then I forgot to do it later so that's just like it's wild so on Thursday I noted that um my kiddo was home from daycare and then after that I noted he was feeling a lot better the antibiotics kicked in really really quickly quickly and he got a lot of sleep but he was still low energy so he and I baked banana bread together and I'm so excited. I used up, um, during this filming, I used up three sheets from the Coffee Monsters Co. Like, nothing makes me feel better than when I get to use up sheets. So next up, I used a Fox and Pip uh, little baby in the bath to note that we had a date time bath. I didn't have any water on his head so that nothing would get into his ears. But um, if you're a parent, you know... <laughs> If they're sick or if they're grumpy, put them in water or take them outside. Those are the two, like, catch-alls they will do very well. And this really made a huge difference. And then after that, I used another half box just because I had to take more time to note that I had to do the deposit for the windows. And I didn't have too much else going on that day. It was a really quiet day. So I just used a paint swatch down there to take up more time. I don't like how the second half of this week turned out. Friday was a great day because my kiddo was feeling so well, he asked to go back to daycare, which was like outrageous. It was amazing. It was so exciting. So I was like, okay, this is wonderful. Uh, then we had another cat incident. So obviously you can see a jump, but that um, cup is another leftover from my kit. Then I had to note that I had a long nap with my kiddo and here was I was figuring out that like my kiddo actually went back to daycare and I wasn't reading my book properly um so then I noted that my friend who's not in the planner community came over with Starbucks for me because I was so tired and it was a really hard day and I just love that so much uh, then I used another Fox and Pip icon to note that I do the dishes. My husband is the saint that he is and he normally does them, so I don't have to do them, but I felt I needed to today. Then I uh, binged that 90s show, and that was another Coffee Monsters Co. sticker I got to use up, which was nice. And then I used a leftover sticker from my album, and I do happen to know that's from Alley Cat Shop to note that I placed an order with Indigo. 
Um, I think it was the Golden Enclaves is, or the the School Romance series is what I ordered. Maybe I think. Uh, I used a Coffee Monster Co. Mom Life Part Two. I want to say. Uh, to note that Owen and I had drawing time that morning, and then I used a Sweet Tea Sticker Co. with a crying baby to show Walter, my little one, had a really tough day. Um, he was just really unhappy. So I got the boys all dressed, and we went to the park and had a really nice long walk. Uh, then that afternoon, I managed to get both of them down for a nap. Praise the Lord. That was amazing. That is the third sheet that I got to use up, um, and I loved it. And then I just used another Sweet Tea Sticker Co., uh, uh, with a hearts to know that we had family playtime. It was a really good day on Saturday. Um, on Sunday, bless you little man, um, the grandparents came over. Oh my gosh, the grandparents came over to play with the boys and that was so helpful. Um, I love my boys to death and like it's nice that they came over to play with the boys because I just wanted to clean my house by myself. Um, so I just used a cleaning icon from the kit. I'll note down cleaning. And then I had cleaned my upstairs bathroom. I did the laundry. I swiffered and I cleaned the stovetop, um, with a scrub daddy cleaning paste that I got. Oh gosh. I like bought into scrub daddy so hardcore. I'm here for it. Then I had to use a big coffee monsters co emoji to note that there was a big poo situation that happened. Both the boys had blowouts. Uh, then, uh, we were so exhausted after that day that we ordered pizza that night. It was really lovely. And then finally, um, we went to bed early again. Um, and I just used a Coffee Monsters code to note that. So this is how my week turned out. Um, if you want to see me fill it in with pen, check out my Instagram, Canada Planner Girl, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles, friends!